got really lucky this man just dipped out of his spot which is right next to the building i am so late to class so and then i uh, then i'm gonna go to the concert so i am excited for that it's just gonna be scary loki <laughs> ever been to a concert by myself so we'll see how that goes but yeah i'm gonna find it oh shit yeah i gotta look good for this concert so i'm gonna take a shower real quick and yeah it is and the, the doors open in one hour, so I need to leave as soon as possible, and it's an hour and a half drive. When I tell you that I am nervous as shit, I am nervous as shit. <laughs> I'm just taking time, like, just a little bit of time to breathe, honestly. Kind of a little bit lightheaded, but I'm ready. I'm ready to do this. I'm ready to die. It's time. Oh, shit. Alright, update. I'm gonna be so fucking late because I decided to take forever and pick what I wanted to wear. I had this very cool fit going along with a bunch of different matching colors, but then I was like, nah, I need to wear something like Oliver Tree would wear. So I'm wearing this windbreaker and uh, I got a little cowboy hat back there because I think it's a first cowboy uh, tears tour. Yeah, I am ready to die. Honestly, this is not good. Oh my God. All right, it is currently 7.02 right now. My dumbass decided to go and sell the tickets because i'm i'm gonna be late as hell first of all and i'm just so nervous bro but like i made a deal to myself once it hits 707 and the tickets are not sold i have to go so we'll see if they sell i hope they do i really do <laughs> i'm so nervous okay so i have approximately like an hour and five minutes to go until i'm in denver yeah i'm so nervous dude i'm literally so nervous i have to drive an hour all the way up there and then i'm not gonna pay for the parking i'm just gonna get a scooter and literally ride the scooter all the way there so i'm nervous for that too and then i'm also just nervous because i'm just gonna be all alone and i've never been like all alone like at a fucking concert that just seems horrible i've only been to two concerts i've only been to two concerts in my whole life and this is scary honestly it really is super scary all right, we're off to a great start. My phone just uh, got full on storage because it wouldn't upload to the cloud fast enough because my data has been so ass lately. I swear to God, it's been so bad. I have a Sprint, uh, SD, or uh, what's it called? A Sprint data chip? What the fuck do you call it again? Wow. So I, right now I'm approximately 45 minutes away. And I am scared, dude. Oliver Tree is a pedophile. Everyone knows him as a pedophile. Uh, he likes little kids. So I'm just really, I'm really frightened for my life, honestly. He's a, uh, he's gonna touch me. All right, we're at our first destination and it is Castle Rock, so yeah. Okay, so I changed over my camera settings to, uh, from 4K to 1080p because literally my system storage kept on getting full. I had to delete a bunch of apps. I literally deleted YouTube. I'm gonna be posting this video on YouTube and I literally deleted YouTube just for this. Okay, so I was gonna freestyle to pass the time and listen to some music on YouTube, but then I realized that I just deleted YouTube. I'm kinda, I'm kinda pissed about that. There's nothing I can do on the rest of the way there. I just have to sit here and literally just, I don't know, look at the road, I guess. It's kind of annoying. All right, there's Ikea. Uh, this is what I count as really just the entrance to Denver. We are about like 20 minutes away, so it's just, this is great. We're almost there. Okay. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm good. I don't need no parking. <laughs> oh, shit. He said park. That was loud. That man even got a voice on him. Yeah, no, nah, I'm not going to park for 20 bucks over there. So I just got here, and I'm going to go up ahead and find another place to park. All right, there is scooters right behind me, and I always got to find a spot to park, honestly. Last time I parked like right along here, but it looks like everyone got those spots, so I'm kind of sad about that. Okay, we found some desolate ass spot where we're gonna park. Hopefully I don't get jumped. <laughs> All right, and I think this should work. And now all I have to do is get a scooter. It's currently 8.11, and that means I am 11 minutes late, so I gotta get going. <laughs> All right, it looks like in the middle of nowhere, there's like helicopters all up there and like a bunch of construction. But uh, I think my car should be good, like right there, that's where it is. And then I found the scooter, so it is time. 
All right, we got the scooter, holy shit. Right now, going like a show. I'm on the scooter right now, and I have to get across the street and go over to there, so. Yeah, I'll see you guys there in a minute. All right, the ballroom is right behind me. It's right over there. And uh, yeah, we just arrived. And basically, look at all these scooters. Yeah, we just got here, so I need to stop my ride. And yeah. All right, here's the line. It's pretty long, so I'm not excited for that. But yeah, I finally got here. And that little scooter ride only cost me two bucks and was really just like five minutes of extra time. So definitely worth it. And now we're here. All right, up at security. Uh, they thought my water bottle was a gun. <laughs> All right, deep voice daddy Connor here. Basically, they uh, saw something in my pocket. No, just my water bottle just chilling in my uh, right jacket pocket. And they thought it was like a handle of a gun. So they're like, whoa, there. He's like, what do you got there, bud? And he came over to me and like, I was like, what? And he like literally just grabbed me and then like grabbed the water bottle out of my pocket like really quick. And then I was like, I was like, it's just a water bottle. And he's like, oh. And then like everyone, like all the security guards, you see him like turn around. And they're like, oh, sorry about that. And then, yeah, it was pretty funny. Well, we made it in. And uh, there's a lot of fucking people in here. <laughs> this is crazy. A lot of people are dressed like they're going to a rave. But this is all over Tree concert. But you know what? I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, here's just a little bit of advice for uh, the beginning of the concert, really. So once you get there, you're really going to want to get as close to the front as possible and make sure there's some people standing because it's kind of awkward when you're just sitting down next to people. And uh, yeah, definitely be with a standing crowd and try to move up as quick as possible. So I was standing in the back and I was really awkward just sitting there like nobody wanted to talk to me. And then I grew a pair and decided to try to get up to the front of the crowd up close to the stage. And uh, I started pushing through people, started pushing through people, and I get like halfway there. And then that's when I pushed through this one girl, and I'm like, I'm so sorry. And she's like, she's like, no, you did not just do that. And she's like, you're not allowed to go up there. And then uh, we started like playfully arguing. And then I was like, I was like, okay, okay, I'm leaving. And so I tried to get up to the very front of the crowd, and I couldn't do it. There was too many people in front of me, and they wouldn't let me by. So I just chilled back there in the middle, and I just talked to all the girls that I just met. And... Uh, I uh, got to meet a lot of cool people. Right, I was trying to get up to the front, but I'm currently stuck in the back. And so, yeah, I'm just chilling like right in the middle of the crowd right now, which is sweet. But uh, I met some cool people. All right, and here's an example. So just look at the girl in the glowing pink hat. Uh, you should be able to see her. And then look how far away I am from her. And then look how close I get to her. So that's how far I moved up. And that's where I stood for the rest of the concert, basically. <laughs> So it was a success. Honestly, I met a lot of cool people. And then uh, towards the end, I kind of chilled out, but it, it was fun. It was really fun. There was a lot of cool people here. Sadly, I didn't know anybody, but it, it was a lot of fun, I swear. And apparently, this is Oliver Tree's last tour, so that kind of sucks. We had that was a lot of fun. I low key want to get merch, but the fucking line's gonna be long as shit. 
so I don't think I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I reserved the scooter on the way out, so I'm gonna go and get that real quick. Some girl just got put in the back of the ambulance. I kind of feel bad, but it is what it is. I wish I would've got a shirt, but I gotta, I gotta get home. All right, I got my scooter and uh, yeah, I'm ready to go. Scooted on my way to a professional scooter riders concert or ex-professional scooter rider, but yeah, got everything. I was, wasn't alone for most of the night. I had a bunch of cool people I met, but uh, now I'm gonna be alone for an hour and a half ride home. So I am not ready for that shit. I'm kind of scared low key, but yeah, it's time to go. I'm wasting money on the scooter. So uh, time to ride, I guess. Here comes the pump pump. Oh shit, it's the ambulance. It's the ambulance. Like that poor girl, bro. She was hyperventilating and shit. I felt so bad. I didn't get to get any videos of it. Cause I was, I was like, nah, that's kind of rude. But I'm on my way fucking back. Oh, oh shit. On the scooter. Yeah, I just rode the scooter back and I'm feeling good. And uh, yeah, I highly recommend if you uh, ever in a situation like where you have to go to a concert by yourself or like none of your friends could go or they'd never heard of that artist, then like if you fuck with that artist, then go for it, bro. Like it is your fucking life and literally just like learn to do things alone. Get out your fucking comfort zone. It is, it is. It is a good fucking feeling, I'll tell you that much. And I didn't even have like a, like an amazing experience, but I still had like a really good experience because like my expectations going into it were really bad. I was like, oh, this is gonna be horrible. But then I came out like, and it, it was really fun. It was a really fucking fun. I have school at, what is it? Eight, eight tomorrow, so I gotta wake up at seven tomorrow. And right now it is 11.56. <laughs> And I am a wa an hour away from my fucking house. And also, I can't really hear too much. Uh, Oliver Tree got my ears kind of blasted. And then I went right next to this ambulance. And oh my gosh, my ears are just done. And, uh, you yeah, know, it was fun. Like, I was so fucking nervous. Like, Loki, like, so fucking nervous. Just to drive, like, an hour and a half up by yourself. And then uh, just go into a random concert. And no, nobody. And it was, uh, it was a good time. I ended up meeting some cool people. And uh, hopefully I could get those videos from them. I added two of them on Snapchat. So hopefully I'll get those. But... Yeah, it was a good night. Hey, get the fuck out of your comfort zone. Here, I have this little light. Get out your fucking comfort zone, I swear to God. I'll kill you with this light, dude. Look, <laughs> you're getting probed by aliens right now, bro. <laughs> you just got probed by aliens. And now, yeah, you're done. That's all I'm gonna say. But, uh, yeah, get out, get the fuck out of your comfort zone and just live your life, bro. Like, that's the only thing that you could ask for. And get some good sleep, because I do not get good sleep, and it really fucks with my awareness and my... I don't know. You, you need good sleep, too. So get good sleep and get the fuck out of your comfort zone. That's the moral of the story. I love you. Good night.